What have you been doing today? Today we've had qualifying, so that means you set your grid position for the tomorrow's two races. We've got two qualifying sessions. We just had the first session, we've got the second session this afternoon. Uh, so it's very important to have a good, good, as high up the grid as you can because that means you've got less overtaking to do in the race. So, uh, and also, it's, obviously, if you've got a good setup in your car, it, it's quick, and then you're going to reflect that in a grid position. The other question I'm asking here is what advice would you give to young That's people right. interested in motor racing? If you want to start motor racing, right, you've got to. Go along to look at a few races and just see what it's all about because it takes an awful lot of commitment like any sport to get to the top and I guess a lot of people come up the ladder by going through karting because uh, it's and if you can go to it like an indoor karting arena you can learn a lot about it. Did you come up the ladder by karting? Yeah I, I started with karting and, uh, but now they've got a lot of indoor arenas or these, these sort of uh, four cylinder engines where you can go and race quite cheaply like £30 a session or something have a, uh, a lot of fun and get to know whether you're any good or whether you like it and then you can go on to some more serious karting and then maybe get into cars so there's a lot of uh, that's the best way to start but again like everything else the more you, the higher up the scale you go the more it costs Yes, I did. I needed it. Um, it was an exit day yesterday, so okay for today. Did you notice any visible changes in you before you go on the track? Concentration. So, yes, now I don't really come to concentration what he's doing. Um, so there was an hour before I was, half an hour before I was. What were the problems yesterday? Um, with it being a new car, we have problems with electrics, and the dashboard was causing a bit of a problem, um, which I thought it was the engine, but at the end it found, we found a bolt on the dashboard, which was a bit of a problem. Um, with regards to the car itself, had a bit of oversteer, um, which means the back end sticks out a bit when you're driving, um, but now that's been rectified, so it should be okay. Is this a pricey business? Very, very. Our budget's in Formula Ford range from 50,000 up to 80,000, 90,000, depending on how much testing they're doing, whether it's abroad or whatever. And basically, it's down to money. The more money you can spend it, the better you're going to do. And what, what are your tactics for today's race? Good start. Um, try and get off the grid as quick as I can. Um, it's all going to be made on the first corner. When did you sign up Oliver? Just literally on Friday before this weekend. Um, got together and finished building a car for him. And we all sort of got together to get him out this weekend. Talk about everything afterwards to see if we can carry on.
Every weekend has been had by all here. We've done lots of speedy stuff, we've watched lots of races, and we got in the way of loads of people. Uh, Wayne's jacket got mashed, and I screamed like a girl on the simulator. So we've had a great time. This is Luke and Wayne signing off for the first episode of Spring.